It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. You know how the old saying goes, once a cheater, always a faithful partner who will be with you until the end because they know they did something wrong and they will never cheat again. No! That's Is... how the old saying goes, yeah. and I think it rings true for most people. Oh, wow, it's catchy. And that's why Michael is on the phone today. He actually has a very serious issue that he wants our help with for the oh. Awkward Tuesday phone call. He thinks his girlfriend might be a cheater. Oh, oh no. that's such a bummer, Michael. What's up, Michael? Hey, guys. How you doing? Oh, man. Pro- probably not how awesome. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not great. Sorry about that lead-in. Like, oh, this oh, dude thinks his girlfriend's <laughs> cheating on him. What's up, bud? Things must be great. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sorry to hear the news, Michael. No, I, it's not your fault. And, <laughs> how do you know that? We haven't gotten to the bottom of this yet. That, that is a good point. That, that, is, that is true. <laughs> oh, man. You be, could be, call be, her for the Awkward Tuesday phone call, and I answer the phone. <laughs> and I'm like, what's up, Michael? It's actually an Awkward Tuesday phone call on you. I've been cheating with your girlfriend. <laughs> Michael, can I just ask before we go into why you think she's cheating, how long you guys have been together? Yeah, absolutely. So we've been together for about like nine-ish months. Okay. okay that's a good so it's it's serious. I mean, you're at the point whether, you know, you stay or you go. I mean, it's been, you know, up and down, but like for the past few months, it's been like super great and it has felt good. Okay. And why do you think she's cheating on you? I should preface by saying that when we first started dating, probably like a month in, we had... Like a, a, a cheat scare. A cheat scare? Yeah. So what does like, that mean? <laughs> so basically what that means is um, she went to a party and, you know, it was like with some mutual friends and um, she ended up hooking up with a guy at that party. Okay, That's a little more than a... Scare. That's, that's, what happened. that's just a cheat, Michael. I should give more context. So she like, you know, it's later and I find out because this guy's like texting her and and I'm like, who's that? You know, eventually we get into it. And basically what she was saying is like that she was really scared because she like really liked me and she wanted to know if those feelings were legit and if we were legit. So she uh-huh. like wanted to kiss someone else and, and make sure that she like didn't feel yeah. like you know, like, that those feelings are real. So she kissed oh, another guy and was like, no. I didn't feel anything at all. No, yeah. Michael, that's not how it works. She's lying well, to I, you. I, I know how it sounds, but it was totally, it's totally legit. And ever since then, we've been totally cool. So I believed her, and I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. But Yeah, all she needed to do was mess around with another dude to, see to be you. like, you know what? Yeah, uh, he wasn't as good of a kisser as you all. <laughs> Hang out with you. Are you worried now that you're being paranoid because of the cheating history you guys have? Uh, it's partly, you know, partly is that, like, she's really, really attractive. She's, like, so gorgeous and out of my league, and she knows this. Like, after that incident, we talked about how, you know, a lot of times guys are going to hit on her, and that's just kind of how it goes with someone who is that gorgeous. Um, did you say that, or did she say that? Well, she said that. Of okay. course she did. Well, I mean, I, I thought it was fair because it's like she wants me to know that it doesn't mean anything, but just know that this happens to her. Michael. Yeah, Michael, it sounds more like a girl being like, look, just deal with it. I'm hot. Yeah. I'm going to get a lot of attention. And you know what? Sometimes I need to make out with somebody else in order to <laughs> see how my feelings are for you. But the thing was is that at this point she wasn't making out with any of them. It was just, hey, like this happens. Like, don't worry. I don't care about any of it, but it just happens a lot to me. And okay. I was like... Cool. So I, I I learned to not be jealous or weird about any of that stuff and trust her because ever since then, she's giving me reason to trust her. So what happened this last time that made you think that she finally crossed the line? Well, so the other night, she went to a friend's party, and I had stuff going on that night with, with some of my guy friends. And so she was just like, hey, I'll meet up with you at your house afterwards. Okay. And so I was like, great. So I came home a little earlier than I thought. So I was just kind of hanging around, like watching Netflix and couple hours go by and there's no word from her and so like i'm texting her and you know i call her at one point like hey are you still coming and like nothing no response no anything and then it gets like really late and i'm you know i'm kind of worried so i called a couple of her friends and she's like oh yeah she was at the party but she left we didn't see her leave oh i'm gonna tell you as a girl that's sketchy because even when one of my girlfriends leaves and i don't know where she went when she comes back i'm like what'd you do yeah (laughs) you did something yeah but you know maybe she's like just like uh, like like hungry or something like when you got like fast food i don't know yeah sometimes you get hungry and then you just disappear for a while you know yeah so like i end up staying up most of the night and the next day around 
10 or 11 a.m. and got like a couple hours of sleep, she just texts and was like, sorry, I was drunk. Sorry, that was, uh, that was it. Sorry, I was drunk? Pretty much, yeah. Just disappeared all night, and then that's all you get the next day. Sorry, I was drunk. Wow. That's it. And so I I'm, I don't know. I was I was saying this to one of my guy friends, and he was like, hey, like, you know, this has happened before. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe, I don't know, maybe you should talk to her. But I don't, I don't like, know what to say. Like, I don't want to be, you know, like, jealous and overbearing, you know, like, because that's just not, not healthy. But at the same time, like, I want to know, like, I don't know. I want to know what's up. Yeah, but Michael, if, if a girl get has, a spine. If a girl has yeah. cheated on you once, right, or you had a cheating scare, as you called it, <laughs> and then disappears for an entire evening, doesn't tell you where she's at, whatever, when she was supposed to come over, and then doesn't really text you back at all, I think you have the right at that point to be yeah. like, is something going on? <laughs> yeah, and um, I forgot to mention that when I called one of her friends, one of them had like, been at the party and seen her um, just briefly, and she was like, Apparently hanging out with this guy. Oh, my um, God. But, right. so, but, like, but, like, it wasn't like she was like, oh, it didn't look like anything. It, it, that's just the last person I saw her with was this guy. And I'm not a Michael, why, bro. I mean, but here's the thing. Why are you so worried about hurting her feelings when she continually goes around and hurts yours and has no problem with it? Well, I think that's a little unfair. I mean, it, yes, you know, once she did like a not like cool thing, but like I, I mean, is I, that what you said to her too <laughs> after the cheating thing? Like, not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> that was really not very kosher. I hope you were a little oh harder God. on her than that, man. Yeah, man. Well, well I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I was like, you know, I, I definitely was like, hey, like. You know, like I was, I was firm. You know, I put my foot down. I was like, you did that. Okay, put your foot down. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like you put your foot down, Michael. Dude, you sound like you have no respect for yourself. How do you expect her to have respect for you? Yeah, I think that's like not warranted. Um, I mean, <laughs> look, I'm just like, I, but I think I will admit that a lot of details don't sound good. But so I just want to try and bring up that conversation in like a healthy way. Okay. okay well, well, we'll think of some ideas. We'll play a song. Come back. Give you some advice, and you can make your awkward Tuesday phone call. Okay. Thank you. All right, man. Hang on. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's awkward Tuesday phone call. You know what they say, cheaters never prosper. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, by prosper, you mean hook up with a lot of people who aren't their significant other. (laughs) Because then if you do, they're prospering like crazy, those cheaters. Stop that prospering. And Michael thinks that his girlfriend might be prospering (laughs) on the side. He wants to call her today in an Awkward Tuesday phone call because he thinks that she might be cheating. They had a cheating scare, as he calls it, early on in their relationship. And recently, she went to a party and she wasn't heard from. Like She was at the party, then kind of disappeared, didn't text him all night. A couple of his friends who were there said the last time they saw her, she was with some dude. And the next morning, she just texted him and said, sorry, I was drunk. And that's it. So he's a little curious if she might have cheated on him. So he's about to call her and ask her. I was a little harsh on you in the beginning, Michael. I understand that you think you may love this girl. But doesn't it bother you that she thinks that she's out of your league? Well, I don't think it's that she thinks she's out of my league. I think she's just like, guys like to hit on me. Okay. Okay. And you said that you guys came to an agreement after your first cheating scare that she's hot and dudes are going to hit on her and you just kind of have to deal with that. Yeah, totally. And that totally. doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. I go through the same thing. Dudes, <laughs> my girlfriend's a lot hotter than I am. Dudes yeah. hit on her all the time. Except difference between you and I, I don't get mad. I ask them to look me in the eye while they hit on her. <laughs> it's weird, but it's how I like to do things. Oh, weird. It's why you guys work, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's why we work. And usually they stop hitting on her at that point. They're like, whoa. Uh, I got to get out of this situation. <laughs> you might want to try that someday, Michael. And this, and this will be the first time you hear anything about that night other than, sorry, I was drunk. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't really seen her this week. Oh, you haven't even really seen her? I didn't even know that. Okay. I will dial her phone number right now, and then you can do your Awkward Tuesday phone call, okay? Thank you. All right, here we go. Hello? Hey, baby, what's up? Hey, Michael? Hey. Where are you calling hey. from? Oh, sorry, my my phone died, so I'm, I'm just using a friend's phone. I just wanted to oh. check on you, see, see how you're doing. Oh, I'm good. Just hanging out. Yeah? Yeah, Hi. yeah. I miss you. It's been a couple of days. I know, I know. Yeah. I miss you, too. Um, Thanks, babe. So, um, I wanted to ask you about uh, the other night. What about the other night? 
uh, I just wanted to, I don't know, just like hear the, hear the, hear the full scoop. Right? We, we just, we just haven't really, we haven't really <sighs> talked about it. Dave, I already told you I was drunk. I, I passed out at a friend's place. Sorry. I... No, no, oh, no. I mean, just, just, don't be sorry. It's, it's totally fine. Uh, but like, is that? I mean, I mean, is that it? Or, I mean, if you got drunk, it was like probably some, then... you know, like wild tale. I don't know. I no, I mean, there's no tale. Have you ever been to a party? You drink. You get. You, sometimes you get a little drunk. You can like text me or, you know, My... like, like just just give me a shout. Like we have plans. Well. My phone was in my bag. You always tell me I'm on my phone too much, so I wasn't on my phone too much. I I didn't see it until I woke up the next day. I mean, that's a great thing to, you know, want to be present, but you couldn't, like, text your boyfriend just, like, really quick, be like, hey, um, plans changed. Well, by the time it was, you know, I would have thought to do that, I was passed out. Like, I can't take that back. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, Michael? Well, I just, I, I'm, I'm just a little confused because I was really worried. Like, I was worried that something, like, happened to you. So I, you know, like, called your friends, and they were like, oh, well, she was here at this party, but she left, and we don't know where she went. What? Like, no one knew where you were. Oh, is that, so now you don't trust me? Now you're trying to keep tabs on me? What did you no, think no. I was doing? Well, no, what, I, what were I, you I, trying to catch me at? No, I'm not, I'm not, none of that. I just... I just feel like I deserve an explanation. I've There's, explained. Well, okay. Well, here's the thing. I Later, I heard that you were at that party and you were, like, talking to some guy. And then <laughs> of course no I was talking to a guy. There's guys at parties. But can't you see it from my perspective? Like, you, you don't show up to my place. And then your friends are like, we don't know where she went. And then it's like, oh, yeah, she was hanging out with some guy. And then all you text back is like, sorry, I was drunk. That well, I feel like that pretty, much, that pretty much says it. I was talking to some guy because guys talk to me. There are guys at parties. I, know, I don't know, I what, know. You're, what, you're, what you think that I'm doing, Michael. I, I'm, I'm really actually I'm offended that you don't trust me to hang no, out with no. some friends and go to a party. No. You have no reason not to trust me. I've been trustworthy. I mean, well, there was that, you know, that cheat scare that we had the first month that, you know, we were dating. Michael, that is old news. We dealt with that. We talked about that. Yes. It's done. But, I mean, like, it just, it, sometimes I still think about it. Sometimes it makes me worry. I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand, Michael. I, I don't understand. You're keeping tabs on me. You don't trust me when I say no, I'm no. going to be somewhere. I just, no, no, no. I, I, I do trust you. I totally trust you, and I don't. I don't want to like be overbearing or anything. Like, I'm. I just. I just want to have like an open conversation about this and be able to be like, hey, like that. That really scared me, and like that's. You know what I mean? Like it was. Just, yeah, but was, you keep like, bringing up old news. You keep bringing this stuff up. You keep blaming right, right. me. Like honestly, I. I feel like I may as well cheat. You know, you. No, what? Because, because, because either way, either way, you think that I'm doing it. No. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I do not. I do not assume that. I mean, you're you're basically pushing me. You're throwing me into some other guy's arms, and you're going to make me cheat. I, Just, I, I, be I'm sorry. be, be aware right. of that. Okay. Are you aware of that? I'm sorry. I, I you're right. That that's on me. Whether or not I cheated that night, it, it's not even an issue. It's the fact that you expect me. You expect me to cheat, Michael. You 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 just you're you've already written the story. I have cheated, so I may as well cheat. You know, no, you think I, I'm, I'm a cheater. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm totally aware that I, I get really paranoid, and um, then that that's so not fair to you. That that's on me. Um, I don't look. I'm, I'm, I t- I'm sorry. I totally trust you, and um, I'm so sorry. Will, will you forgive me? <laughs> what? Oh I don't know what just happened. Oh <laughs> man, Michael. Hey, Ava, what's up? How are you? How, what, who is this? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Michael, what is this? What's happening? It, um, I, I just, like, wanted some help. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 these guys have been helping me. Yeah, yeah, we do a segment on our show called The Awkward Tuesday Phone Call. It's where if you have an issue with somebody, we'll give you advice as long as you call them on the radio. And Michael thought that maybe you have been cheating on him, so... Michael, what the f***? 
<laughs> you're checking up on me. You're, you think I'm drunk. You think I'm cheating. And now you you get me on the radio? No, no, no. It, it, it's, it's, they give really good advice. <laughs> I, know, I, advice. I just needed to talk. It's one thing. You, you don't even trust me. But then you, you try to make me look like a cheater in front of everybody on the radio. What are you trying to do to me? No, I, I wasn't trying to do... No, I, I that's, that's it's coming out all wrong. I just I just needed someone that... Who would like understand? Like, like, well, let me pro like process. You know how I process verbally, and I just needed to do that. Verbally, process verbally with your friends. Oh my god! I don't think I don't think you really process too verbally, Michael. Because I think if you would listen to Ava, you know that she's probably cheating on you. Yeah, that's that, that's not true though. Did you not like listen like? Like Ava, like I, I'm very sorry for like bringing you on the radio like that. It's very unfair. Yeah. But I feel like we like totally, but but I like totally love the place that we got to, and like I I think you're right. I think this is all on me. Like, like I and so. Oh I, my I God, Michael, shut up! How dare you guys blame him? How dare you guys blame me? How dare you guys bring me onto your stupid show and 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 paint me like a cheater? Ava, <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know what I'm doing. Ava, I will say, I will say. Number one, Michael is your biggest fan yeah. and biggest defendant. Oh well, right, by bringing me on the radio show and to blame me in front of everyone. But I just, okay, listen, slow down. I mean, I just don't get why you're with him at all. You obviously don't like him yeah. that much. Of course I do. No, you don't. You have no respect for him. You stay up all night, you get drunk, and you text him the next morning, oh, sorry, and then don't talk to him for a that whole week. A That's party. not how you that show someone that you time. care. It was a party. I got drunk, and I didn't text him. You know, it's the end of the world. I'm just saying, cut the boy loose if you're cheating on him. Yeah. I'm not. She's not. She's, she's, not, she's not cheating on me. That's, that's it. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. Look, I, I, like, I appreciate your help, but, like, obviously you guys are just, like, picking sides, and, like, you just, like, want this to be, like, a cheating thing, even though it's clearly not. It's clearly not. Like, this is just something that I need to work on. And oh, no. Dude. We don't need you guys. We don't need you guys to fix us. We yeah. look. We figured it out. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you figured it out that he was insecure about your guys' relationship, but then you blamed him for that insecurity. <laughs> Michael, I'm am done with this show. I don't need to justify myself to some wannabe therapist on the radio. I'll talk to you later. Oh. That's right. Okay. Bye. <laughs> She's already, She was already gone before you even said bye. <laughs> look, are you guys happy? Are we happy? Dude, Michael. What? Dude, she's cheating on you, Michael. And even if she's not cheating on you, she's not nice to you. Right. <laughs> you guys were just trying to, like, instigate fighting. Like, she clearly was, like, uncomfortable and, like, didn't like that. And, like, I just don't, like, I don't understand why you, like, want us to fail. No. no, no we don't no. want you to fail. <laughs> we just want you to stand up for yourself. Yeah, we want the truth. I did. Did you not hear me? I stood up for myself. Yeah, and, like, I, I like, <laughs> You ended it by saying, I apologize, it's all my fault. Do you yeah. forgive me? <laughs> a, a, real, a real man knows when he needs to apologize. Uh, okay. <laughs> I appreciate your help, but I also do not appreciate that like you guys keep trying to like, make me break up with like, you know, potentially the one. So. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Sorry God, I feel Michael. that way. Sorry, no. man. We, uh, you, do, you do what you want to do, Michael. But uh, thank you for doing the Awkward Tuesday phone call. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, and you continue to work on it with her if she is the one. I will. And then she'll continue to work on it with the two and the three. <laughs> <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning. Okay, we're getting a lot of text messages in at 78592. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to be talking over this song right now, but yeah. it is Tuesday. Yeah. And a lot of times we do talk over Tuesday. I haven't done it in a while, and I figured now would be the perfect opportunity to break in over the beebs and talk about some things. Obviously, we need to talk about the awkward Tuesday phone call. Beaver break. Okay, enough of the beaver break. Uh, we need to talk about the Awkward Tuesday phone call. Also, before we talk about that, I need to let you know about my friends from AdvocatesLaw.com. Oh. This would be a good time while Justin Bieber's playing to let you know that, hey, maybe you were listening to that Awkward Tuesday phone call and you were so enraged that you were yelling at your radio and then you got in a fender bender. Well, you know what? We do, Biebs. Um, <laughs> if you need help getting money from your insurance, all you have to do is hit up my friends at AdvocatesLaw.com. It's 206 512 3555. They're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it costs you nothing to talk to an attorney. I know, that's crazy, right, Justin? Yeah, if you feel you're sinking and you need some help, 
just get a hold of them. AdvocatesLaw.com. They can help you get money from your insurance or if you've been hurt at work or something else like that. Now, keep the text messages coming at 78592 about today's Awkward Tuesday phone call. People are enraged. Yes, very much. In case you missed it. Oh, we're still going. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's talk over Tuesday. Why not? I thought that we were going to let the song finish and then eh, talk. I thought about it, and then I was like, you know what? People tune in to hear us talk over songs. Yeah. That's, that's what they tune in for, and that's what we're going to give them. I'm glad we play humble. the hits, and then we talk right over the hits. That's what we do on this show. Anyway, oh Michael wanted to call Ava, mm. his girlfriend, because he believed that she was cheating on him. She went out to a party, got drunk, didn't text him the next day. He heard that she was talking to a dude and had no explanation other than I was drunk. And that's all she said. She was supposed to go over to his house that night. She yeah. like left him hanging. And they've had a cheating scare is what he called scare. it in the past. Basically, she cheated on him when they first got together. Yeah. <laughs> so he's obviously worried that she could cheat again because, as people say, once a cheater, always a cheater. Right, Bieber? Yep, he agrees. <laughs> so he called her for the Awkward Tuesday phone call, got her on the phone, and asked her about that night. And then she got just defensive. Oh, man. And everybody oh, texting in at 78592 is saying that how defensive she got proves that she was a cheater. And she used, like, the common cheater line that I've heard before. Mm -hmm. Just like, well, if you think I'm doing it, I might as well just yeah. do it. Yeah. You mean she actually <laughs> said, you're going to throw me into another man's arms by yeah. accusing oh me of my this. God. The thing That's is, th this is such an example of two people who bring out the worst in each other. Like, right? she's a manipulator, and he needs to grow a pair, totally, man. Totally yeah. Totally like, it's, it's as much his fault at this point. Yeah. Well, she blamed hurts. him for everything. Like, how yeah. dare you accuse me of cheating? He's yeah. like, well, you cheated before when we first got together. That's in the past. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't even be thinking about that when I don't text you back all night and I've been oh, seen man. talking to another dude, okay? Maybe. I don't know why your mind would jump toward cheating. You're an <laughs> idiot. And his response is like, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm yeah. sorry. It's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me. Like, come on, God, man. I just want to oh. shake him so hard. Uh, I'm assuming that they will probably be broken up soon. And then, I don't know, uh, wait, dude. yeah, no, they will, and then they'll get back together, mm -hmm. and then they'll break it. up again whenever yeah. she wants. Right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He has no decision making <laughs> skills in this at all. Um, remember, if you want to do an awkward Tuesday phone call, you got an issue that you need help with. Just email us. We'll help you with your issue as long as you make a very awkward phone call in exchange. Moving ninety two point five.